What's up, guys? Iceman here. Welcome to Diablo Resurrected. I am your host, Professor Iceboy. That's right. We're diving right back in to the Diablo 2 Iceman Research Institution. All right. What is this, like the 50th video with the Barbarian? Let me know in the comments below. I think it's the 49th, to be honest with you. But what I wanted to try out is the grandfather. Partly because the grandfather is cool for style points, right? Like, look at how epic it looks in D2R. It actually looks good in D2R. You can tell what it, you can tell what it is. Uh, like, if this were the non-D2R graphics, it looks just like a great sword. Just yell it out, right? Well, yeah, that's one thing that D2R did really good, is that they made the items on your character in the inventory look like they do in the inventory on your character. Uh, that's something that I wanted for a really long time. But nonetheless, the grandfather is a cool item, in theory. It dates back to Diablo 1. Uh, in Diablo 1, it was a two-hander only greatsword at its base. But the unique trait about the Grandfather is that you could wear it in just one hand. You could just use it in one hand. Uh, it didn't matter what class you were. So, of course, in Diablo 2, it's in a great sword as well. The Elite version, rather. And only with a Barbarian can you wield it in one hand. So it doesn't have the unique trait of being able to hold it in one hand. But nonetheless, it dates back to Diablo 1. All right, as do many other items. So... When this stuff was introduced, I thought, like, it was cool. And uh, I think this came in before the rune words. Uh, some would argue that the rune words ruined a lot of things. But, I don't know, what's your opinion on that? Let me know in the comments below. I kind of like the rune words. But the problem is, uniques, such as this one, I think, need a massive buff. But nonetheless, here it is. And I put a shale rune in it, and I have two of them. So, for one-handed damage with this guy, with a perfect rolled, perfectly rolled grandfather. Does it vary? I can't recall if it varies or not. 87 to 447 one-handed damage at level 88. And 203 to 622 damage, two-handed damage at level 88. And for... Compare... Comparative purposes, let's check this out. Here's how it compares to death. Death has a much higher minimum damage, uh, but a very similar maximum damage when it comes to its one hand damage, as you can see here. Uh, two hand is a different story. Death is much better for two hands. So Grandfather really, if it excels anywhere, it excels as a one handed sword for the Barbarian. All right, because the 220 to maximum damage really helps scale with just the one-handed damage. So, kind of a cool item, right? I mean, I wish it were better, but let's see what else it does. 250 enhanced damage. I think that's set. Isn't it always 250? I don't even know. Max damage per character level, 50% bonus to attack rating, 20 to all attributes, and 80 to life. So it's like a poor man's Breath of the Dying. with no leech, and with no added attack speed. So I put a shield on this one. But let's see how well it fares. Here's the frenzy damage, 812 to 4,416. And then the whirlwind damage, 836 uh, to 4,550 whatever. All right, let's see how well it does just against these guys. I'll show you my other items, uh, a lot of what you're seeing here are crushing blows and deadly strikes, things of that sort. So there's Frenzy. Uh, let's see how well it war once. Oh! Oh, it hits a lot! Uh, it actually has... I think it's partly because I added those shells. Uh, it has a pretty good range to it. Uh, that's the nice thing about these great swords. What is it, a range adder of two? Is that what it is? I think it's a range adder of two. Uh, although I think it is equivalent to the range adder that the Berserker Axe offers. But really, against these little guys, it's doing pretty well. So let's see how well it performs in the Frigid Highlands. And let me show you the rest of my gear. So I have G-Face with just a plain IS jewel in it. 
Uh, obviously, I just wanted to really do the best I could with attack speed. So my character sheet shows 63% chance of deadly strike, 50% chance of crushing blow, 10% chance of open wounds. All right. My res aren't all maxed out, but that's fine. Uh, G-Face is just great with the deadly strike and the crushing blow. High Lords, the IES, and the massive deadly strike. Go Riders, for similar reasons. I needed Mana Leech, so I threw this on. I needed Life Leech, so I threw on String of Ears. Uh, Raven Frost really needed some AR and cannot be frozen. Laying of Hands, just all around. I love these gloves. It's hard to pass up on 350% damage to demons. Uh, so yeah, these probably need to be nerfed or something. Fortitude, uh, just go to melee physical armor. It's a good way to go. All right, let's see how well it fares in the Frigid Highlands. So here we do. Here we do B. Here we do B in the Frigid Highlands. Not bad, not bad. It's hitting a lot. Oh my god. It's actually pretty good. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not, uh... Oh, look at this slug. Freaking... Freaking, what is it? Colossus? Two-socketed. So I could make, uh, steel, right? Tur-L in that shit? Hell yeah. Make me some Tur-L. Couple other things, too. But... Uh, this is actually faring a lot better than expected. Uh, I think it's because of the fact that I busted my little tail trying to get some deadly strike, crushing blow, and all that crap on this character. Uh, this is players one, mind you. Look at him go. Oh my god! It's destroyed! Uh, really? I mean, hell, this isn't that bad. Uh... Obviously, compared to Breath of the Dying, or Death, uh, or Grief, if I even dare mention that damn thing, uh, with how godly it is, uh, it's it's going to fall short big time. Alright. I think this thing should be allowed to roll Ethereal, at the least. I mean, I think they definitely, they should just do that. It's not, it's still not going to be better than Death, or Grief, alright? Uh, Breath of Dying, I don't know, depending on how you're using it. See, here's an ethereal one. That's right. I pulled this thing out of thin air, alright? And I made it ethereal. And look at the damage difference. Let's 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 check out the difference. 129 to 559 one-handed damage compared to the non-eth, which is 87 to 447. 304 to 822 two-handed damage compared to to the non eth which is 203 to 622. All right, now how does it compare to death? Uh, lower minimum damage, but slightly higher maximum damage. And this is a very poorly rolled death, all right? I don't think I have a BOTD on this guy. Do I? Oh, I do. Look at this. 774 max, 391 to 774. All right, whatever. This one actually does more damage. <laughs> but... You know, and then you gotta find a Zod rune, and by the time you got the Zod rune, you can make a Breath of the Dying. It's like, at the least, they should let this shit roll ethereal. Oh my god, you dumb toad! It's already indestructible. I knew it. Uh, that's why I can't roll ethereal. So yeah, I put a Zod in that, man. Uh, so now that shit is doubly not gonna break. Alright. So it's actually a good thing that I did that. If Diablo eats that shit, it's still not going to break. But, I mean, better yet, yeah, if, they, if this could roll Ethereal and it uh, maintained its indestructible mod, uh, then you could put an Ohm rune in it if you wanted to. Uh, you could put a low rune in it from Deadly Strike. You know, you could put a 4015 IS Jewel in it. Uh, you could put whatever in there, man. You could put a Burr rune for 20% crushing blow. Uh, let's see how well this thing fares now. I'm not going to use this, though. I just, I just wanted to show you the damage. So let's see how well this fares in the Chaos Sanctuary. Hell, I could have put an Eldrood in there. So... Uh, it'll do some undead damage. Isn't that 75% undead damage with an Eldrood? Uh, for the Chaos Sanctuary. Uh, to help it uh, meet up a little bit with the Laying of Hands, 350% damage to demons. Hell yeah, look at that! Cute little ball. Alright, start some Frenzy. A frenzy's no good. We're gonna get your ass kicked using frenzy. 
That's the problem with Frenzy, is it's no good and you're gonna get your ass kicked. So don't use Frenzy. Yeah, the nice thing about this Whirlwind, man, you just hit so much, you just go through everything, and you'll leech like crazy. You know? Even though Frenzy, I think it is uninterruptible, isn't it? You just get your ass handed to you. Because they just surround you. Beat the hell out of you. When you're whirlwinding around, lots of them hit you. That must be what it is. And you're hitting faster. I mean, you're, you're hitting pretty fast with Whirlwind. You're hitting... You're hitting a lot faster than you do with Frenzy. It's just slow your hit with Frenzy. One, two, three. Then this. Boom, 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 Hell yeah. Uh, but what do you guys think about this... What's it called again? Grandfather? Does it need a buff? Yes, it does need a buff. I'll answer the question for you. Uh, it needs a buff. Alright, no questions asked. Uh, so does Doombringer. So does pretty much everything else. That's a unique item. Uh, except for Shaco and HOZ and a couple other things. What does it, what's, what's a unique that doesn't need a... Maybe that's the better question asked. Shaco, HOZ, High Lords doesn't need a buff. SOJ doesn't need a buff. Uh, that's pretty much it. Does Wind Force? Yes. Does Arcane's Valor? Yes. Does Tyrael's Might? Hell yes. Does Templar's Might? Of course. Does Blood Raven's Charge? Is that a serious question? They all need a damn buff. Steel Skull. Hell yeah. Not, not an elite, but that's fine. Uh, they all need a buff, man. That's pretty much the bottom line. Well, that's fine. Uh, this thing especially, though. I mean, this... Like I said, it's an elite. This is the top tier elite sword, alright? I think... I don't even know if I ever found one. Let me know in the comments if you guys ever found a grandfather. Uh, it's rare as a freaking toad. I don't know if I found one. I probably, I think I did find one on either PD2 or Path of Diablo. And it was higher player drops. It was like players 5 or players 8 or something. So I think I might have found one way back when. Ooh, look at this. I've heard legend of uh, folks making like grief in an executioner sword. Actually, I think it's the other one. Uh, the one up from Flamberge. Okay, there's Flamberge, and then there's Colossus Sword. Colossus Sword, and then the one in between, the Zweihander, that's what it is. I think they make it in a Zweihander. Uh, something to do where that has, it has different breakpoints or some shit. And, um, with Grief, the base damage barely matters, you know? Because where, where it excels is on the, the damage that, are, that the item itself, or that the rune word itself rolls. Look at this slug. Frickin' three. What can you make in that? You can I make, like, Crescent Moon or some shit? Uh, Crescent Moon or that other thing? Alright, so here's some... Here's some Frenzy. Not working out all that well. Yeah, my chance to hit kind of sucks. Uh, that's, that's generally how it goes with the Whirlwind Barb. Look at him go! Oh my god! Look at the open wounds! Oh my god! Hell yeah! Junk. Godly. Look at that. 24 FHR, lightning res, mana, life. That's all the best stats, man. That's all the best stats. I might as well be wearing that. Alright, try the trial real quick. Appreciate you guys coming by. Like the video if you will. Hit the thumbs up button. Become a channel member or a patron if you want. Links in the description below. And your finances will indeed be blessed. Uh, I'm thinking about making another channel for some Barrel of Buttercraft. Alright. When that Elder Scrolls game comes out, I'm going to play that. But I can't play it on this channel. Uh, learned, learned a rough lesson, man. Learned a rough lesson just a couple days ago. Channel got the freaking shaft up the toad. Because I, uh, I posted a uh, Barrel of Buttercraft video. Channel got the... No, don't post anything else. Don't post anything else except for Diablo. Uh, yeah, I got a chef, man. But I'm thinking about making another channel for some Barrel of Warcraft. 
and uh, I want to play that Elder Scrolls video. You don't know if I'm uh, World of Warcraft on that channel, and then I do Elder Scrolls on that channel, it's gonna get you know what it up the toad. All right, so I can't do that either. I guess I can just, I guess I just can't make any videos on the Elder Scrolls. I mean, whatever. I'm probably gonna play the game for like ten hours anyway. But now I'll play a little. I'll, I'll play a little bit more than that. Uh, I'm sure I'll play it more than that. I played Skyrim. I, mean, I played Skyrim a good amount. Of, a good amount. Just messing around. The problem is too damn easy. Those games are too damn easy. Uh, they're like made for toddlers now. Uh, Morrowind, I think, was the last one that wasn't made for toddlers. Um, Oblivion was made for like toddlers that were kind of getting a little older. You know, like they're 10 or 11 or 12 years old or something. But then Skyrim was made for toddlers. And uh, I'm guessing this, uh, this other one's going to be made for toddlers. I just wish that they could... Oh my god! Look at this! Freaking tea gods Uh, Yeah, it's made... I just wish that they'd have like a difficulty. Kind of like Diablo, where you can go hell... And then you find a bunch of items that you can't find a normal. You know, if, if elders whatever would do that, that would be cool. You know, because then the big boys, they're always afraid of the toddlers wanting to do what the big boys do. And they're always afraid the toddlers just going to quit. Because they think the toddlers are going to see that and then they're going to try to play it. But they're going to die. And then they're just going to give up. They're going to quit and they're going to ask for a refund. They're going to get a refund. And uh, I think that's the company's concern. Uh, but I, that's, I don't think that's how it really adds up in reality. I think that's BS. Uh, I think if you, if you make it tough for the big boys, the toddlers will see that and they'll aspire to be more. I think is what'll happen. And they're not just going to quit. Uh, they're not just going to quit, alright? But, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace be with you.